As the Ukraine-Russia war continues, Russian President Vladimir Putin has chosen to relocate one of Russia's most sacred icons from a museum to a Moscow cathedral. As the Ukraine-Russia war drags on, Russian President Vladimir Putin has decided to move one of Russia's holiest icons from a museum to a Moscow cathedral. Jesus was born in a region of color. That's right. In Bethlehem. And then you get some folks say, did you know it was black people in the Bible? Oh, Lord. Okay. <laughs> First man that was me was an African. Recently in Russia, a series of ancient paintings depicting Jesus Christ as a black man was unveiled, sparking widespread interest and discussion about the representation of religious figures. The unveiling occurred during a ceremony at a museum in Moscow where the paintings, believed to date back several centuries, were displayed alongside other religious artifacts. Scholars, art enthusiasts, and the general public alike were drawn to the event, with Dr. Elena Ivanova, an art historian, noting that the paintings offer a unique perspective on religious imagery throughout history, challenging traditional Western depictions of Jesus as white. The revelation of these paintings has prompted discussions about representation, identity, and the evolving interpretations of religious figures across different cultures. It highlights the influence of historical and cultural contexts on artistic depictions and challenges the dominance of Eurocentric imagery in religious art. This unveiling provides an opportunity for reflection and dialogue about the diversity of religious imagery and its significance in shaping cultural perceptions, emphasizing the importance of exploring alternative narratives and perspectives in understanding human history and spirituality. Traditionally, Jesus has been depicted as a white man in Western societies, influenced by centuries of European art and cultural representations. However, there is a growing acknowledgement of the historical inaccuracy of this portrayal, with recognition of Jesus' likely Middle Eastern and Semitic origins. Figures like Gino Jennings have emphasized the importance of understanding Jesus' cultural and racial background, challenging the prevailing notion of a white Jesus and highlighting the diversity of human experience and identities. Jennings teaches that while Jesus may have come from a region of color, his true significance lies in his teachings and message, transcending physical appearance. Jesus was born in a region of color. That's right. In Bethlehem. Jesus, that have never been a concern among the apostles. No, never was. That was a concern with Europe. That's right. That's right. Because if it wasn't a concern with Europe, then the Europeans wouldn't have strived so hard to make heaven white nationalism. That's right. All the angles are white. Jesus is white. Mary is white. Martha is white. All the apostles is white. That's white nationalism. Amen. <laughs> That's right. And then you get some folks say, did you know it was black people in the Bible? My oh, Lord. That's right. Okay. <laughs> the first man that was me was an African man. African man. That's right. That's right. The Garden of Eden. Right in Africa. Was in Africa. That's right. Someone say what? Give me the book of Genesis. Genesis chapter 2 and we're at verse 10. Listen. And a river. So that's no big deal with us. No. See, it's no big deal with us whether you black if Jesus was white I can accept him still accept him if he was yellow I can accept him that's right it's no big deal with us that's right it was a big deal with Europe amen listen Genesis chapter 2 beginning verse 10 yeah and a river went out of Eden to water the garden I want to show you where the garden of Eden was located and from a this, river and a river went out of Eden went out of Eden to water the garden to water the garden and from thence it was parted and from thence it separated and became into and four it came heads into four heads the name of the first is Pison the name of the first river is Pison that is it which compasseth the remember it's talking about the rivers to water the garden of Eden that's right listen that is it which compasseth the whole land of Havilah with there is gold. Yeah. And the gold of that land gold is good. Of that land is good. There is bedellium right. and the unk stone. And, and the name of the second river the name is of the Gihon. Second river is Gihon. The same is the it. The same river Gihon that compasses the, whole, the land whole land of Ethiopia. Of Ethiopia. Right. And the name of the third river is Hidakil. That's one of the rivers that's surrounded. 
the Garden of Water, the Garden of Eden. That's right. So the Garden of Eden was in Africa. The first man that was made was an African man. The first woman that was created was an African woman. So, yes, Jesus was born from a place of people of color. Color, that's right. That's right. On the canvas of interpretation, the portrayal of Jesus as a person of color may stir the waters of controversy for some. Yet, within this debate lies a powerful reminder of the importance of historical accuracy and cultural sensitivity in our understanding of religious figures. By embracing Jesus' Middle Eastern roots, we embark on a journey toward a more nuanced and inclusive comprehension of his teachings. Ancient paintings unveiling Jesus as a man of color not only promote diversity in religious imagery but also acknowledge the myriad cultural and biblical interpretations surrounding religious figures. These depictions challenge traditional stereotypes and Eurocentric narratives, paving the way for greater cultural awareness and sensitivity. For marginalized communities, seeing Jesus depicted as a person of color is empowering, offering a sense of representation and validation within religious contexts. It fosters a greater sense of belonging and acceptance, enhancing community cohesion. However, the revelation of these paintings may spark resistance, particularly among those attached to traditional depictions of Jesus. Some fear that these portrayals could deepen existing divisions within religious communities or be misused to promote divisive agendas. The divergence in beliefs underscores the subjective nature of religious interpretation, influenced by cultural, historical, and personal factors. While some readily embrace new perspectives, others resist change out of fear or discomfort. Yet, amidst these discussions, it's crucial to remember that Jesus' skin color is ultimately inconsequential to the message of salvation. What truly matters is our faith and obedience to his teachings of love, compassion, and righteousness. Jesus welcomed all, transcending societal barriers and cultural divides, emphasizing the importance of inclusivity and acceptance. Our focus should thus remain on cultivating a personal relationship with God and embodying the principles of love and kindness in our daily lives. As we engage in these discussions with empathy and understanding, let us remember that our shared humanity and faith in God unite us far more than any differences in appearance. By living out the values of compassion and unity, we contribute to a world characterized by love and understanding. Until next time, peace and blessings to you all. You've just tuned into John Phoenix Religious TV, and I hope you found this video enlightening.